Hello, it's Judd, your ministerial intern. I'm just saying hello. I know we've had some really crazy, really hard weeks with a lot of bad news, a lot of new news that we're processing and figuring out and learning about, dealing with a whole new landscape and a whole new lifestyle. And I'm wondering how you're doing with all that. If you're like me, you're learning new ways of doing things, like to wipe off bags from the grocery store when I come in, to wash my hands longer than I used to. And I've been thinking about how, how the COVID-19 crisis kind of shows how vulnerable bodies are, how sensitive they are to their environment and how they can get invaded or infected, but also how connected we are, how we can spread these things because we are in the same spaces so often. Retail spaces, walking down the sidewalk. And I'm wondering whose bodies you're taking care of. You know, you might be taking care of your parents and your children at the same time. You might be thinking about your spouse's body and how to take care of, of him or her, or they. And I wonder how we can make a practice of honoring the body. And thinking about all this made me think of a reading by a wise woman named Stephanie Paulsell. Her book is Honoring the Body. And she's thinking about how you can make it a practice. And she's asking, where can we turn for help? Where can we go to learn the sacredness of the body? Where might we discover practices that can give shape to a way of life that honors the body? How can we resist the dishonoring of our bodies and intervene against the dishonoring of the bodies of others? And she says, we can begin by looking to our neighbors every day, often without any grand theories to guide them. Ordinary people honor their bodies and the bodies of those around them. The family that makes time to share a meal together in the midst of a busy schedule. The man who gives his beloved a daily bath when his beloved is living with AIDS and can no longer bathe himself. The teacher who brings music to her classroom and invites her students to dance. The teenager who gives up smoking. Women who gather in a church basement to learn techniques of self-defense. Workers who organize so that they can insist on regular breaks from repetitive manual labor. Lovers who reverence each other's nakedness. If we look, we will see around us people honoring the body in ways that are sometimes sinful, sometimes playful, sometimes heroic. But in all of these gestures and activities, However spontaneous or improvised, the sacredness of the body is encountered and clarified. So may we find those practices, those rituals that help us honor our bodies and, and those we take care of and those around us. And please feel free to reach out. My email address is judd at firstparishinbrookline.org and my cell phone is 857 891-5764. Please feel to reach out to me or Lacey or Reverend Lisa and let us know how you're doing. Amen and blessed be.